to Summoner's Rift. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. Minions have spawned. Let me have a little bit of 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 a Okay, let me go look. All right, welcome everybody to the TS Esports stream. I apologize for the technical delays. We are fixing that right now. We should be good if we started from here. All right, and we're starting off the game TSU versus Michigan, a college in Michigan. Uh, the drafts went uh, Siver Brom and Zaya Blitz in the bot lane. We'll see if TSU is going to be able to land those hooks, but that Siver Shield and that Brom Shield are going to be real fun. Lissandra Yone in the mid lane. That's going to be fun for us to watch. We got Silas Jungle. Interesting to see that. We'll see if he goes that Night Harvester build that we were all seeing in the preseason. And classic Sejuani. Feels like we're watching an LCK game. And we got Aurelia and Gwen here up in the top lane. <laughs> Let's go. All right, setting up here one minute into the game. Everyone's going to their lanes. No shenanigans today. No invade, it seems. All right, we're getting a top leash here from red. Both teams starting red. We'll see how this pathing affects the game. Says is probably going to go down, maybe attempt to gank bot here early. And a little bit of action here in the beginning. Is Yon going to go in? No. Oh, we keep switching. Oh my god, action everywhere. A little bit of level 1 poking from every lane. Oh, Gwen comes in here with the scissors, hits the Q, a little damage on the Aurelia. That's okay. You can just trust that. It looks like bot lane got the level two there first. Top lane also going to get the level two first. Anything going to happen? Gwen pushing this wave under. Aurelia now has the level two. See if she'll do anything about this Gwen. Gets that first stack. And look forward. Still just a little poke from everybody. No one's really doing anything too well. Aurelia tried it there. Lissandra comes in with the stun. Yon gets his shield, but Sedge is there to meet Lissandra out of her claw. She flashes the knockup. Silas there for the counter gank, and he comes in and gets the first blood. Uh, Grandpa Sin still going to be alive. The Ignite not going to be enough to kill, and the Silas Q2 almost taking out the Sejuani. That's going to be first blood for TSU. Sedge is going to take a back there. Lissandra. It's gonna back there as well. We do have a sneaky Gwen, it looks, coming up in the mid lane, but we are gonna fade down to this spot. Blitz does hit the hook on the Braum. Not the ideal target, but it is still a landed hook. We get some damage down on the level two Braum. 
Uh, Hope Silas is looking to do something here, maybe? Uh, not enough time, not enough time. Oh, there's a hook onto the ADC. The W comes out from Zaya. She's throwing the feathers. Braum blocks the first two, but it's not all of them. Not enough to get the root onto the Sivir. And it looks like Blitz took more damage there than they sent out. That Braum shield really hard for the Zaya to get through. The Sivir Q hits on the beginning. Not coming back. Oops, Sedge over the wall. It is warded, but they do not have enough time to react. The knockup flash from the Blitz is able to get him out. A good recovery there by the TSU bot lane not dying to that Sedge gank. And Sedge will return back to the jungle to try to catch up to Silas in the CS. Top lane still fairly even. I really might want to be careful here. No mana. Gwen used all of her stacks. Not going to be able to follow up on that engage. Two v one down here in the bot lane. Silver and Brom not seeming to try and do anything to push their luck here. Everyone's just going to last hit some minions and handshake a polite. A little lane section for them. Zaya getting a little bit of poke off with the feather passive. Not going to land the root on the E back though. Bot lane gonna go ahead and take a reset here for Michigan. Uh, Zethel and Grandpa Sin still killless here in the mid lane. However, Yon did die to the PT Parasol gank earlier in the game. But outside of that, we have not had a lot of fighting. Um, bot lane here for Michigan decided actually not to take the reset and gonna clear another wave. Uh, Silas on his blue. Gonna go ahead and do some CS in here. Not really any ganking opportunities available for him at the moment. Oh, and the Aurelia hits the sun. The Sedge comes in, but it's not gonna do anything with the Gwen wall, however. We are going to just 100 to 0 the Aurelia there. Too much CC for her to get anywhere or keep her passive stacked. Sage once again with another good gank, but this one actually ended in their favor. Just gonna go over here and tank the Gromp. Silas is hanging out in the tri bush here on top side. When taking the turret, he comes in and engages. Lissandra is here. Just gonna QW out. Are they gonna take this 2v2 fight? Silas lands the E2, and it is enough to kill. Is he gonna stay and fight the Gwen? Lissandra going both ways, but coming back. The last alt charge for Gwen is not going to get used as she is CC chained and Aurelia. Men on there. Silas now 3 and 0 for Truman State. Esports. We'll see if he will be able to keep this aggression up into this comp from Michigan. Oh, he lands the root there onto the Brom. The hook from the Blitz coming in. The shield is not going to get broken. Oh, the stun <laughs> off the Lissandra to keep the combo from going from the Yon. Everyone just losing a little bit of health and walking away. Now the ult from the Yone is coming in with the Q2 stack. The stun is going to stop him, but it's not enough to keep Lissandra in lane. She will have to reset after that one. No ults for either of the mid laners. Silas not yet getting getting level 6 right there. He is now able to hijack some of these ultimates from these enemy players. Um, we have 3 here, but I think red team might know. Zaya comes in, hits the QE root. And it is enough. Not enough. The Brom comes out. We have to flash all to get the kill.
It looks like Red Team is attempting to do the Herald here. Gwen rotates down. We got about 3,500 health left. Popping that eye. Taking it really fast. The smite. Gonna come through here for Sejuani as they secure the Rift Herald. And they're going to attempt to possibly gank top while Bot takes a reset and Blitzcrank clears the ward. Nothing gonna come from this, Sedge and Gwen flashing top. Sedge does have the Rift Herald. Silas going through his clear here on the blue side. Will Aurelia cancel her back? She does. Maybe they look for something here on the Gwen. A little bit of trading back and forth here from our mid laners. Really hard for either one of them to get on top of each other. Let's crank almost back down in the bot lane for that 2v2 to continue. Says clearing the blue buff as Yone goes in once again for the EQ2 knockup onto the Lissandra. Lissandra once again stopping it with the stun, dodging it that time. Says once again coming through over the wall with the engage onto bot lane. Once again, Blitz is gonna be able to flash out there. And the Silas ganked mid at the same time. Neither team able to acquire a kill out of that. The Gwen Aurelia going at it here. The ultimate comes through. Oh, and the Silas ults the Yon with his ult, the flash out. Oh, they are both going to die. Yone coming out with the shutdown. Silas dying to that last turret shot. That flash was just a half second too late. Still a 500 gold lead for TSU coming in here, but that shutdown for the Yone was very good for red side. The Brahma going to come out here, countered by the Blitz ult and Q onto the minion. The Zaya ult and Q is enough to get the kill onto Sivir. Will they be able to pick the Brahm out? He's a tanky guy. He's a tanky guy. Not going to be able to get that double. CS even down on the bot lane. However, the Zaya does have two kills on the enemy Sivir. And maybe a slight experience advantage. The Gwen, however, topside having the advantage for red team and a slight level advantage. A little bit of wave management shenanigans going on here. The stun is going to land inside, but Aurelia is going to have to walk away. Silas coming in to clean up. What a clean gank. Nothing too stressful there for blue side, acquiring another kill from their Silas jungler. And like I mentioned earlier, he is going to go that Night Harvester build that we saw a lot in the preseason, and it seems to be working out for him. The Aurelia going in for the trying to get the heals off the Q. It's not enough. Silas is going to dive on the E2. Hits Q1 and Q2, but that is a big Sejuani. Not going to take enough damage there as the Night Harvester. Not going to do too much against the tank. Yone gets his W shield onto the Lissandra for a little bit of poke. Taking advantage of his own sustain. What a nice support, letting his ADC clear the control ward there for the extra 25 gold. Well, the Lissandra with the little, the little peekaboo at the uh, Brom there, not gonna clear the blue ward. I'm also not gonna see the control ward for blue side. And once again, Yon comes in with the Q2. We see the sun come out from the Lissandra. The Yon is starting to scale on his damage now, winning those trades that were going even before. Oh, Gwen dodges the ult with her W becoming intargetable, but they still manage to get inside. Is she going to have the healing? Not enough to kill the Aurelia, but the Gwen does go down. Another successful gank from the Silas for TSU.
Yon alt Q2. We have the self alt coming out from Grandpa Sins Lissandra almost winning the trade there. Yon going to have to E back out, not able to secure that kill. Red team's coming in to set up for drag here. What do we got? We got a Hextech Drake. Uh, first one was Chemtech, so let's see what this soul's gonna be. Not a mountain or ocean would be good for either team here. The hook comes in on the Sejuani. He just cues right back over, still able to land the smite. One Drake each side now. Uh, we have a cloud, cloud soul for this game. That's gonna... I don't think either teams would mind that. Either team would probably prefer to have one of the other souls in this situation, but it is not gonna happen. Waiting for that Brom Shield to come out before ulting. Somehow the Zaya not able to root anybody with any feathers there. We got another Silas gang coming in. Once again, you see the Yon E into the Q2, but he is going to get this Lissandra this time. Oh, canceling the Q2 animation with the knockup. The Yone is going to get away from the Silas. However, Gwen coming in with the 1v1 gets that lethal tempo up, and that is going to be enough to just shred the Silas. No healing able to be done. Lethal Tempo on Gwen. I don't know if I've seen that. Seemed to work for Gwen in that particular scenario, though, so I am not going to say anything about it. Gwen able to take the second turret of the game. Still, despite Red Team having taken two turrets, the gold is still fairly even. One drag of Peach each side. More objectives, however, for the red team. And everyone except uh, Aurelia and Brom are sitting. Oh wait, no. Gwen doesn't have a mythic either, but Yon's gonna come in. And that E2 is going to proc that bonus damage, executing Zaya there for Zaya's first death of the game. Uh, red team's bot lane rotates mid here. We got a classic mid and bot switch. Did not see that from the blue side. We're gonna keep the bot lane in their bot lane right now. Lots of setup vision here near the dragon for the red team. They really wanna stack those drakes, it seems. Silas dodging the Sejuani ult. They're gonna have to drop the Herald in the jungle, but this charge is still gonna come off on that tier two top tower. And they just clear the Rift Herald and walk away. Not gonna try and push their luck on that. They know that they are not that much stronger and just wanna just wanna damage the turrets a little bit. It seems that Gwen can probably win the split 1v1 on the Aurelia here. That might be what Red Team is banking on. Aurelia lands the stun, not really gonna do anything. Come in with a couple Q. Has three stacks. Oh, we got it fully stacked. Gwen also one stack away from full stacks. They are just gonna handshake it there and walk away. Red team gonna go ahead and take a reset. They have no CS to grab. Not a bad time to go ahead and spend some gold. Rom's still not quite at his mythic yet. Everyone else has acquired their first item. And looking across the board, oh, Aurelia gonna actually come in here and give Gwen a run for her money, but the Gwen passive true damage is too much. Not quite going to be able to take down the Gwen there. And there to follow up. Bot lane's going to rotate, however, and catch the wave. No gold or XP lost on the map here. Turn some dude. Brom coming down. Do they know that he is here? He walked through the ward, but did they see it? Silas still in the alcove. They think that this is a 4v1 and Silas is just going to leave it. But we do have a TP coming in. Uh, I 
TP wasted there by the Aurelia. The Silas is just going to cut losses and back in the bush there. The ult having to come up from the Zaya. He dodges the Yone ult, but it is not enough. They simply just have too much pursuit and damage. Silas now taking the Gwen ult. Not a bad one to have for this 1v5 situation. He lands the E2. He's got the other charge. Not able to get another W off for the heal. Red team taking a few turret shots, but not enough to... Uh, kill any of them taking a three to zero kill here for the red team We have a 4k gold lead now for the red team here as they go to check out the third drag at the game and the first drag That is our soul drag first cloud drake of the game. They do have their vision still set up fairly well around here lots of red wards in the blue side jungle and around the drag pit. Sandra gonna come in here and alt herself. Are they able to take out the Braum or the Gwen? Everyone gets out the stun lance from the Aurelia. She gets the 800 gold shutdown. Are they gonna be able to come in and deal with this drag? Lissandra unable to poke anything. Red team secures their second drag of the game. Blitz Wing, try and get that move speed to possibly land a hook. No one in the area. Red team just has so much vision in this jungle. Blue team is not as sneaky as they may think they are being. And during this shenanigans, Yone goes and takes the tier 2 top tower that they dropped he Rift Herald on earlier this game. Blue team still unable to find any room for turrets here. Yone clearing Silas's jungle. We're gonna get a reset here from Red Side. Yone possibly creating for the scuttle here, but will anyone punish him for it? Despite having that control ward in the bush, no one is going to come down and answer. The Zai is still managing to have a little bit more gold and items than the Sivir. Solved about 30 AD over them right now. Red team is going to go and attempt the Baron. Blue team finding some wards, possibly suspicious. Some pings coming out. Are they going to answer? Aurelia coming in on the top side here. Blitzcrank coming in the dot. He wins the hook onto the Braum. The Braum ult's going to come in. It's going to knock up to the Zaya ult. Going to make it vulnerable. A couple roots come down. Really comes in with the ult. She gets a lot of damage off, but not on one target. No one is going to fall. And Red team now has Baron. And with the Aurelia and Blitz dead, they might be able to push an end here. Will Blue be able to hold them? The ult's gonna come down. No ult for the Zaya to respond. She is just dead. The ult from the Lissandra comes out untargetable. We do manage to land the E2 on the Braum and the Gwen. Very low health here. Silas with nothing to poke at it though. He does have the Yone ult now. Is he gonna hold it or is he gonna use it? The Q gum out. Sej comes out. He cancels the dash and the W is just not gonna heal enough. The inhibitor does go down. Four members, three members on red side, remaining with Baron Buff here at 22 minutes. The red gold lead has almost reached 10,000 at this point. And most of that coming from turrets. As red team has taken seven turrets to blue team's zero. Uh, red team coming back in the mid lane, gonna try and possibly just A ram it here with a 4 1. Playing it very safe, Sejuani gonna come in. Now normally you'd see a 1-3-1, that's a common thing that we like to do a lot with Baron buffs, but I think they're gonna run 4 here, just to play a little bit more safe, not spread themselves out so much. Uh, blue team does have to send 3 to respond to the Gwen, Yone just rotates right over. This 2v3, 4v3, no longer 4v5, v5, we got everyone here now, no longer in favor of blue side. They're going to take that next turret and just collapse around. 
Uh, the Blitz Hook coming again in on the Braum, getting him killed. Aurelia tries to slide through. She does manage to snag one, but the Yone is just going to clean up. Blue side just simply does not have enough damage to answer this Yone Gwen Sivir. Zaya getting a kill here, not going to die. The Sivir Q actually makes me eat my words on that one. Red team is going to use the Baron buff to enter this game. Michigan takes the one of against TSU. 22 13. Good game from both sides. Uh, we will be back shortly with our Truman. Thank you. Oh. Um. You just click uh, turn it where they can't see it.
Hello. All right. All right, welcome back to Truman State versus Michigan. <laughs> Uh, starting game two right now, um, we've got very similar comps coming in. Team gonna attempt an invade here. Nothing gonna come about it. All right, just a quick draft review. Let's see what each team came up with. Uh, we are going to switch sides for this game, too. In Michigan, we'll be having Jax up in the top lane. Sedge, once again, in the jungle. Truman deciding not to take that away. Um, Victor in the mid lane. And this time, Michigan's going to take the Zion Blitzcrank and run it back against them. Um... Truman State up in the top lane is going to have our classic Mordekaiser, everyone's favorite top lane matchup against uh, Jax. That's going to be a fun matchup. Lots of smacking each other and running away. Uh, Viego in for the jungle here on Truman State. We got Grandpa Singed on the classic gang flank and a Twitch Leona bot lane. Um, I do know that TSU's ADC really does like to play Twitch, so we'll see if this works out a little bit better for him during this game. Jack's coming up with the level 2, able to take that trade and the assist. Oh, Blitzcrank gonna land a hook here on the Leona. Leona gets the flash out, not gonna get taken away there. Victor gonna hit the Q empowered auto on the gangplank there for the first blood. Oh. Another hook lands for the Leona here by the Blitz. She's gonna E in and stun. Not enough to get him out. Leona also going to die there. The Jax with the Q gets the kill, but the Diego is able to show up right there at the end to at least make it a one for one trade. Gangplank already back in the mid lane, tanking some. Uh, poke from the victor Zethel just not letting Grandpa Sidge have the light of day in this lane um blue side gonna go ahead and take their first back
quietly farming up here. Grandpa Sin is going to come with the Q. Victor low on mana, but still has enough mana to cast his abilities. The stun shield going to come down. The static field going to come down. But Gangplank just walks it off. Able to get the Q. Not able to get those barrels to stay there for very long as Victor just cancels them as soon. Jack's going to come in with the stun. And they're going to kill the Viego. Mordekaiser still wanting to fight. Jax is going to go into the brush and walk back. Going to take that Mordekaiser Q. He Q's in. The W shield comes out from the Mordekaiser. He gets the heals. He's walking away. The field is going to get canceled and stunned by the Jax for the double kill for Michigan. Sedge looking like Silas from last game. Up three kill KP at four minutes into the game. And top lane, uh, Jax looking to be the better matchup for the Mordekaiser versus Jax here. It just seems that every time Mordekaiser pulls him in, he just gets stunned by the Jaxie. Lots of hooks landed by the Blitz down here already. Sejuani going to go in and just clear the blue. Uh, we saw an attempted gank here by the Blitzcrank, but it is not going to lead to anything. A little bit of first strike gold coming from the victor. That first strike extra damage is really eating that gangplank. The Blitzcrank coming around out of the tribush as the Jax cues onto the Mordekaiser in the top lane. The Swedes is going to come around out of the tribush. The stun is going to land the max health cue broken, and Jax just going to go ahead and take that other. Oh, actually, Sejuani is going to take that one this time. Another hook lands on the Leona from the bush. The Trish W is going to come out. He's getting that stack up. The E to pull the poison out. Not going to be that much damage. The Leona already two levels behind. Not able to tank as much as we would like to see a Leona tank. The Sej once again with another gank. The Q flash. Unable to be run away by the gangplank. Another kill created by the Sejuani. Jack's just going to go ahead and try and proxy the wave here. Get to the Mord before he even gets under tower. And he is unable to finish the kill as he is killed by the turret there. That gamble would have paid off and just secured the game for him there. But now the Mordecai is going to land the shutdown and be able to possibly do something against this Jax, who has found himself so far ahead so early in the game. Already a 3k gold lead here for Michigan and 8 kills across the map. Sejuani just seems to be everywhere. Um, unlike last game, we actually have some disparities in the CS. Uh, if we look at the top lane matchup here, the Jax has uh, 18 more CS than the Mordekaiser. And the mid lane matchup also looking about 20 gold deficit. A little bit of sneaking around here by the Leona Blitzcrank, both with full charges on their support stacks. As Leona, I don't know what she will be able to do against this Victor Blitz in this situation. But alas, we wait. And just the poke damage coming out of the Victor, absolutely insane. This two, the level five, now level six gangplank, able to stay in lane, eating an orange. The Blitz is going to come in. The Q is going to land the E and E2 going to kill the Gangplank. However, the Blitz double steps back into the turret, taking two extra turret shots, giving Gangplank a shutdown. Another shutdown given to this Truman team. Will they be able to take advantage of this free gold? Uh, Jax thinking about taking that red buff, but Viego is there, has something to say about it. The Q is going to come down from the Jack. He takes a lamp. He takes a ghost. We have vision on the Viego. He keeps stacking his auto attack passive. Viego going to alt out. The E's coming up from the Jax, but he's not going to be in range to Q. The Victor comes in, gets hooked by the Mordekaiser pull. He's not going to be able to just simply run away this time. Mordekaiser finally able to do damage somebody. Is he going to get him with the burn? He flashes over the wall. The flash following by the Mordekaiser. Is it enough? The Q misses, and he does get the shutdown with that last auto attack. 
but the Viego will die to the Jax. Gangplank gonna come in and fight that, but we have a double kill, single pick in the bot lane onto the Leona as Jax finishes off the Gangplank. Looked good there for red team Truman in the beginning, but as the rest of blue side showed up to the fight, looked less and less in their favor. Zaya gonna go ahead and collect some solo plates here for Michigan. Uh, Lance having similar CS to the Twitch, but two kills. So we'll see how he can use that 600 gold advantage in the lane. This Michigan team once again just focusing on objectives while Sajani somehow manages to be everywhere in the map. Maintaining CS on the Viego, ganking every lane, getting kills for all of his laners, grabbing drags, and now the Rift Herald. He is just getting so much done around the map for this Michigan team right here, and Truman does not seem to have much of an answer for it. What are we going to do? The E coming out from the Victor doing massive damage to the GEP. He's going to pop a barrel, but they're going to get out in time. Oh, charging Hexflax from Blitz. He comes over, but there are minions in the way. But now he's trying to line it up. Is he going to shoot the Q? Oh, we got a fight here top as well. Oh, the Jack's going to get pulled under the turret. The shield coming out from the Mordekaiser, and they're just going to walk away from each other. That Herald is going to charge. No one died. It must have been a little bit more of a prank than it seemed in the beginning. However, that E going to come through and just melt the gameplay. Twitch finally coming through here with some damage. He is going to ult the Zaya and get those stacks. Those passive stacks pulling through with his E going to do massive damage with this AP version. But will Twitch have enough time to get it online? Victor just points and clicks his ults on that Gangplank and the GP is... There's nothing that he can do with that poke. Another claw missed by the Gangplank here on the Jax. Jax able to a little bit of emoting here by the top laners. A little bit of friendly banter, I like to call it. Still almost double the CS the Jax has on this Mordekaiser here. That Blade of the Rune King doing massive things for him as he just heals through all the Mordekaiser damage. And the Viego is going to come through, but unable to get anything off. Finally gets that ult charge. The Gangplank all going to come through. Viego also going to ult and secure the kill onto the Jax. Now, once again, Viego is getting that shutdown on the Jax. Mordekaiser unable to capitalize on these ganks. Not going to find himself with any more gold in his pocket. We'll see if Jax continues to just oppress the Mordekaiser matchup here. However, we do see Victor rotating up to the top lane here, and Zaya coming down on the Twitch. The ward's going to pop in, but he is going to get into his invisibility just in time. Zaya losing track of her fellow rat friend there. Uh, for those of you on the stream that were just complaining about the volume, is this better? I apologize. Not complaining. That was disrespectful, but I believe I have made it louder. All right, Victor going to come here with the E. Get a little bit of poke on the Mordekaiser. Going to use the minions to tank so he can walk through into this tier one and just going to delete the Mordekaiser. The poison field coming out from the Twitch here, getting a couple stacks, a little bit, not enough damage. Only the blasting one and the amplifying tome here for the Twitch. Not enough to really abuse that true damage AP passive that he has. Blitz checking out the tribush. Diego gonna try and get this Victor off the tower. Victor deciding to walk towards Red Team's base. Uh, flashes back, and Diego is just gonna get stunned by the static field, and he's out. And Jack's going to just attempt to do it all himself here, getting two kills with the ult. However, they are going to be able to take him down. 
they get more gold for that Jax than that Jax got for those two kills. But Leona's also going to die here to the Sejuani. Are they going to be able to pick up any other of these blue team champions? The alt coming out of the Sejuani onto the Twitch, unable to get away from it as Mordekaiser takes the Blitz fight. Another flash for flash here by these two. The Q's going to come in, pulling the field in, killing the Blitzcrank. Twitch is able to get away from the Sejuani. Now Sejuani's on the run. Does the Twitch have his invisibility up? Will Sejuani be able to tank those turret shots? Is she going to get the execute? The Q comes through, and no shutdown going to the Twitch. First kill of the game, 101, best KDA on this stream and state roster on the field right now. Uh, and we're yeah, attempting to catch up and farm here. Over double the CS lead on the Jax now. Does Victor come through here, coming up on the red buff? Behind the Mordecai's are up top. They are also going to fight for this drag. The Q onto the plant. Uh, we got the Gangplank ult coming out to just fade away the Jax. And just so much damage coming out of that victory there. The Mordecai's are just going to die. Leona ult coming out. But that Jax E just negating so much damage. The Zaya ult coming out making interpretable. She's still got the feathers. But is she going to pull the E back? The Blitz going to come out from the Viego. She flashes away getting the stun. And barely coming out alive. Also going to take this red buff here, and they secure the dragon. Jax just being a menace here. Anytime he is in range to Q, he is on them, and they are dead. Ten and four. Oh, but the Twitch comes out of the invisibility and gets another shutdown. Now two. Oh, he got his Nazar's tooth, and he's got the Dark Seal stacking. Will he be able to bring this team back? Victor sitting in the bush. Hit him with the Penguin Emo. Uh, a little bit of vision wars here between Leona and the Blitz Crank. Dropping a ward on that Rift Herald as Michigan has proven that they are focusing on those objectives. And just a free Rift Herald here for the Michigan team. Uh, we did have some vision on here from Breadside, but the control locking that out. Uh, sitting on an 11k gold laid here, bigger than the first game it ended. Still with all tier 1s left, will Truman be able to hold on and possibly crawl themselves back into this game? Another hook by the Blitz landing on the Leona. The feathers are going to be enough to root Leona going in into the 1v3 and going to die to one of the Michigan players. Victor, however, going to get shut down by the Twitch. The th Twitch still shutting everyone down. Jack's able to kill the Gangplank here, but decides to die to the turret. Sejuani going to come over here. Gangplank finally getting some gold. Let's see if he can get anything done with that Nazar's Tooth. Sejuani on the inhibitor, Diego coming in, gonna eat that Q. One more hit for the stack, gets keyed and queued, stunned. The ult gonna come out, unstoppable, unable to get the kill, but the burn will come in from the Twitch. He is now 4-0 with his death cap, fully stacked Dark Seal. On the Zaya here, Zaya ult gonna come out, the roots coming in, and not able to quite get the Twitch. Mordecai's are coming in, and that Zaya is dead. However, Blitz coming. The ult not able to kill the Twitch. The Twitch is able to kill the Blitz under turret. Mordekaiser taking the hex gate out of his own base to survive. And Jax is now back here, two-thirds health, with his Bork, Wits, and Maw taking no AP damage. The Viego is going to come in, but Jax is just going to queue away. And Viego poke here just absolutely insane, doing so much damage to the squishy team here of Truman State University. Uh, Twitch coming in with the invisibility. The hex gate is being used, but canceled by the Twitch on the victor. The damage is just too much. The Twitch cannot take advantage of that. 
But the Leona come in with the root and Grandpa Sims on the gangplank able to secure his third kill of the game. We're seeing if Michigan can able to wrap this game up. The 11 and 6 jacks just seems too much for this team. They have no answer besides like 4v1. Um, the next objective coming up is possibly Baron. I don't know if Michigan wants to bother stacking dragons here as they already have a 11,000 gold lead. But they are just going to hang out in the jungle for a little bit and see if they catch somebody lacking. And speaking of which, Mordekaiser comes up, places a control to clear some vision. Blitz going to step up and barely miss the hook. Mordekaiser will live this time. And blue team, like I just said, setting up for that 20-minute Baron, taking a page out of T1's book and just doing the Baron as soon as it's there. No one will see that coming. But um, in this particular situation, they can just do it. Don't have to do anything fancy to set that up. They have so much vision on Truman's jungle that there's no one there. The Gangplank ult going to come out, but not going to be able to steal. Uh, Truman will attempt to trade the Hex Drake here for some damage for this last fight, but that Victor ult just doing it all. Um, Twitch E able to secure the Drake and do a lot of damage, but they just have so much CC coming in here from blue side. Michigan able to just keep this fight going. However, Mordekaiser doing his thing and killing the Victor, getting the flash hook onto the Blitzcrank. We are 3-4-2. Leona, still a lot of health, able to just try and walk this one out. But still so much pursuit by this blue team here. Jax is just ending the game with the remaining Baron buff. Will Truman be able to do anything here? It seems that Twitch coming out, just going to sit in Fountain. I lied. Able to pick off the jacks. But a fairly one-sided game here by Michigan. Able to take the win 2-0 against Truman State. Um, thank you all for watching. And um, have a wonderful evening. And we will catch you back next time.